Hello Sagittarians. Welcome to your reading for the first week of September. This reading will resonate with you if you have your Sun, Moon, Venus or your Ascendant in Sagittarius. To calculate this accurately, I would recommend you follow the link in the description of this video and calculate your Vedic astrology chart as this makes a huge difference in the planets um, you know, the way we calculate in Vedic astrology is very different from how they do in Western astrology. So this gives more accuracy and you'll be able to tune into the correct video and get the correct messages for your sign. All right, let's begin. So I've pre-shuffled your cards, pre-mixed them, meditated on them. I'm just going to shuffle them a little bit more. Okay. and I'll cut the deck and let's see what September has in store for you Sajid. Okay. So I'm going to not take reversals for this deck because you know the explanations are a little different the meanings of the cards are a little different from the other deck this is this is a deck called the thought tarot by Alistair Crowley and it's a bit um, you know you can easily tell by the card sitting next to it whether it's going to be a negative card or not so of course with the bigger readings like when I did for Virgo today I did a 15 to 25 card reading for them since it's their birthday month I did take you know I didn't take any I didn't take any re uh, reversals even then um, but if it's like a small reading three card or five card like what I did for Libra today um, then I do take reversals okay so moving on your present Sagittarius okay is the nine of cups happiness contentment Right below that, there's a beautiful card, the Priestess. She's a part of the Major Arcana. She is the Priestess of the, of the Tarot card. She's the Priestess of the Universe. You know, when the Fool was thrown down from the, from the heavens, okay, the, the, the Magician takes those, those elements that the Fool has brought down from heaven, heaven and, you know, it creates alchemy and creates life, okay. But without the high priestess, okay, you can't get into the spiritual realm, right? You, you need you need a mind, you need a soul to come down to the earth. So she is the she is the highest level of spirituality. Highest level of spirituality. So Saji, you are a very spiritual person right now. You know, you are really truly connected to the heavens, and you're so happy as well. You know, your cups are brimming and with 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 happiness nine of cups cup of, you know it's it's a it's a it's a beautiful card it's a wish card it's a it's it's a card that everybody wants in their reading emotional fulfillment you know there's also the six of sword energy so there's a practical side to you. You know, you have a lot of thoughts to do with practical things, not just, so you're not just living in the nine of cups, you know, water energy and, you know, um, the spiritual realm. You're very much mentally thinking about things all the time. Okay, the card is called science because I think you're putting logic into the spirituality as well. You're bringing in a bit of logic. You're not just, you know, your head is not always in the clouds, which is great. In the past, there seems to have been some kind of a, an, a far, sorry, an, an air sign. Could be Gemini, Libra or Aquarius. But you really have to delve deep and see what their real sign is you know like you can't just tell by the month but there's definitely someone with airy energy 
who came rushing towards you. And I have a feeling like there's a possibility you could have settled down with this person already. Like recently settled down with this person. And if you haven't already, the universe is telling you that you can, you must, you can settle down with this person. You have the Hierophant and you have the High Priestess. So you have both the priests of the Tarot right here for you. Hierophant is also Taurus energy. Okay, so I don't know if there's a Taurus in your life, an Earth sign. Um, but this couldn't be a better sign for you to take things to, you know, there could be, there could be some, like, a, you know, usually he, the Hierophant heralds weddings or marriage. You know, an oath you take in front of God. It seems like for a lot of you, the scene has happened. You have you have married the, the the person of your dreams, and you're living this great, abundant, fulfilled life with the sun shining on you. Okay. And for others, if it's not happened, this will happen soon. This will happen soon. Okay, yeah. You have the Six of Pentacles as well. So you will, you're kind of looking at your fortunes. You're kind of looking at, you know, what things that have happened. Like, the you know, since it's come in, in the past, as a past energy, Six of Pentacles is when someone is... This person has done all the hard work and is now, you know, looking down at his coins and saying, okay, now what do I do next? You know? And the card is called success. So I don't think you have anything to worry about. Okay? Yeah. So there's this devil energy. Now don't get scared because it's devil energy. It's, it's just Capricorn. Capricorn energy. Okay? And... You've come out as the embodiment, the empress, card number three. I don't know if that number resonates for you as well, card number three. Uh, number three. You've come out as the embodiment of the empress, okay? Uh, you must be having, you know, Venus in, in, a, in a very, very, very strong sign. Maybe Venus in, um, you know, did you have a lot of influence of Venus in your chart or like you're the embodiment of Venus because she rules Venus. She's a ruler of the land. Okay, She's a queen of the tarot. She's spiritual. She's abundant. She is beautiful. She she has everything that any any person would want in, in, in a woman or even in a man if you're looking that way. Okay. Now with the devil, I can say that there, there could be some Capricorn energy happening with you. Okay, but we'll come to that. I want to go to the Wheel of Fortune. Now, the Wheel of Fortune is, is heralding that, you know, now the Wheel of Fortune literally has started moving in your favor, in, your direct, in, in the direction that you want it to move, okay? So, things are going to be in your favor. Luck is going to be in your favor, okay? And there's going to be some communication from someone. Or some some quick action that somebody will take, or some, some you know some situation will take a quick turn in in a in a in a good way, positive way. Also, this is card number eight. So if eight has any significance in your life, you know, okay. Let's look at look into more of this devil energy. That's here. The devil is going to bring you a message, okay? He's going to definitely communicate with you. Oh, he's already sent you a message. The Capricorn, he or she has already sent you the message. But it's not going to lead to... It's going to lead to that Eight of Cups energy where the person is, you know, walking away. You will walk away from that situation, right? And finally, you will have your happy family and completion. But I think that is not... And you'll have the peace. You'll have the mental peace, Okay, so I think that 
these two cards aside, this is great. This is going to what's going to happen in the future. But I think with this Capricorn energy, um, you know, I don't think it's going to match up to the kind of person that you want to be with. Because you're going to definitely leave the situation. Okay. Like you're going to walk away from it and, and not come back. Like that is going to be the end of that situation for you emotionally. Okay. So I have... I'm going to take a couple more clarification cards for one or two of these situations right now. I've already pre-shuffled them, but I'm just going to quickly give it a one last shuffle and let me cut the deck. Okay, and let's see what we have. Yeah. So there's the page, page of wands. Okay. So definitely some news and a message coming in. So we have two pages. The princess in this deck is the page. It's the page of swords. And now you have the page of wands. Okay. So there's some kind of news of an opportunity. Someone sending you a message. Okay. We have the three of wands as well. So person sending you know this person sending you this message is 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 you know making you kind of um look at your opportunities you could you try to decide what to do next you're looking over your land like how this is similar to this six of pentacles energy you know and you have the sun again wow you have the sun uh, here and here look the sun you know is the divine right magical opportunities without the sun the earth is nothing we will not have anything growing on this earth the sun is what we need the sun is life okay so you there will be a lot of magical this is again a wish card and you have two wish cards okay so make a wish saji because you're going to you're going to have a, you know a great time you're going to have great success and great joy and of course the magician he's been coming up in all my readings since we are in Mercury season, okay, we're going to soon have a Mercury retrograde as well. So the lighter aspect of the magician, you know, is that it says magic is alive in your life. What you need to be a success will manifest. If you believe it, you can do it because, you know, he has a wand. He brought life down to earth, right? With his wand. Also very Gemini energy. Gemini energy could be Virgo energy, but more Gemini energy, like just Mercury, you know, someone who has a lot of Mercury in their chart. It could be someone, it could be someone around who is, who is a Gemini, or it just could be that that is what they're asking you. That is the influence that, the, you know, the influence of Mercury is kind of coming into everyone's life a little bit. But the best thing about Mercury is the alchemy, is the magic. Okay, it's the magic. So, if you believe it will manifest, that's what the magician is here to tell you. That's what it's here to tell you. Okay. So there is obviously going to be a transformation, some kind of a power moment here for you. Um, definitely going to be a time when I think it's to do with this. If some whoever's in this Capricorn situation, okay. Significant life experience that requires changes to be made. Often unexpected revelations. Okay. Um, something, basically a situation is going to change and it's going to change forever. It's, it's a transformation card, right? So, you know, I feel you're going to be releasing old belief systems. That's for sure. Like out with the old, in with the new kind of thing. Okay. And Saji, you're going to be finding love. Two of cups. Falling in love. Okay. Or a resurgence of a, resurgence of a romantic relationship. This could be something from the past. Forgiveness and ending of challenges. Okay. Beautiful. Look at Cupid and these two lovers. 
usually this is a, a soulmate or a twin flame connection okay that's wonderful Saji possibility that this person is a fire sign okay the knight of um, wands is what I'm getting it's gonna be a very passionate relationship someone who's confident charismatic but restless okay it also might need you to take immediate action like don't procrastinate on it too much okay because here we're again we're in this energy of stop the procrastination the knight of wands wants you to take swift action no procrast procrastination you know so i wonder if this is something to do with a fire sign and and you you know and here's your four of wands again you have four of wands twice so i think your happily ever after is right around the corner saji okay you will have peace and contentment in your personal life you'll have a happy home basically so now you've you've got the ten of wands i was expecting this you need to have your work life balance saji okay I think the problems you are having, problems you are having, if you are having any, probably health related because of stress. Okay. So you need to probably have work-life balance. It's great that you're successful. It's great that you've been doing all these things. It's great that you've been focusing on work. But I think it's time to, you know, Have some work-life balance. Okay. Very, very important. Because that's what's going to finally bring you happiness. And yes, finally, the world card. Okay. This is a completion card again. Like how the four of wands is a completion card. Okay. Card of completion. You're done with the cycle. Okay, again, out with the old, in with the new. So you have two, two cards that are telling you that you're, you're just done with an old cycle and there's going to be a completely new cycle coming in where you'll have abundance, where you'll have spiritual abundance, where you'll have monetary abundance, where you'll have a happy home, where you'll, have, you'll be in love with your soulmate. And as I was talking about love, I pulled the lover's card, which is again a twin soul card. And it is a Gemini card as well. The lover's card also comes about when you are recovering from an illness and you have, uh, you know, it's for sure saying that you you will recover even if you have any doubts about it. Because there's magic involved, remember? So, amazing. You have two cards that, that, that say, love, love, love. Soulmate, twin soul. Oh my God, this is like the best combination. Okay, plus you have the devil. So you know when you have these three cards together, it's definitely soulmate. Definitely, definitely, definitely. And it's going to happen soon. And let's take a couple of cards to see. Get a timeline, right? Let's see when. When will this happen for Saji? How soon will this happen for Saji? Oh, okay. It's up to you. So I think the ball is in your court, Saji. The ball is in your court. You know, I think you've got to make the next move. No need to worry, it says. In case you are worrying about some situations that are happening with this Capricorn energy, there's no need to worry at all. You know, the Capricorn can energy, the devil can also be like a very strong male figure or some kind of a person at home or, you know, someone... Who you kind of have a lot of 
differences, you know, mentally and, you know. So it could be that as well. So something to, to, to look into. It could be something, it could be a home energy as well since, since, you know, the whole love thing sorted out, I can see quite clearly. And since the devil is like, you know, an old soul energy, the princess of swords is young. So I'm thinking it could be just something to do with young and old energies not meeting and mixing well in the home scenario and you kind of leaving soon, you know, like maybe leaving and moving out or something like that. Okay. So a year from now, Saji, is when the cards say that something solid will happen with this relationship, maybe a marriage. And of course... Who wouldn't want this card? The card of abundance, pure abundance. As I was saying, abundance. The nine of, uh, the nine of uh, cups. You have, you know, uh, total abundance there. Okay. If you had any questions with regards to this reading, like when or something, when would something happen? Something, whatever was in your mind. It says wait. It says wait. Okay, I'm just going to take one last card and then I'm done because I pulled out quite many cards for you today, Saj. Anything you had on your mind to do with this situation? It says the situation will improve. It could be the home situation, perhaps. Okay, could be the home situation. So think about that, okay? And on that note, I think, Saji, you've had a brilliant reading. I'll see you around mid-September, probably before that. And if you liked this video, if any part of it did resonate, please do like. Definitely comment on what you liked about the video. And do subscribe. Please subscribe. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great evening. Have a great day. And I'll see you guys soon. Thank you so much, Saji. Bye-bye.